All right, this video is going to be on the Ring uh, chime module. This is just a plug-in chime. It's an add-on, so if you couldn't hear the doorbell somewhere inside the house, or let's say you don't have a mechanical doorbell inside your house and you're using a battery-powered doorbell, this will let you hear the bell ring when somebody approaches. Now you can set these like you would um, the doorbells. You can actually set them so when you hit the... Uh, so when I click on chimes in my list here, I named mine hallway because I just plugged mine in the hallway for now. The chime snooze is just like um, your doorbell snooze. So you can set these up for motion or someone ringing it. But if you set them up for motion, basically every time somebody walks by, um, whatever cameras you have in here, I'll show you in a second, um, it will send you alerts and you have it send you different sounds for each one. So you know if someone's at the front, back, side, left, right. Um, I don't have any... Um, motion activated on mine so the snooze settings aren't available but it would be the same thing as like the front door you would just snooze it for two hours or four hours device health basically just gives you a status shows you the signal strength shows you when it was firmware updated uh, whether it's up to date or not the audio settings um, chime alerts basically if somebody rings the bell this will let you know um, if you turn this on when somebody rings the bell now now the chime will actually ring just like your um, doorbell. Uh, motion alert is basically that one. So basically if somebody walks by it, uh, just like your doorbell, it comes up and it'll say, you know, somebody's at your front door or whatever we're going to set it to. So for now, I'm going to turn those off on mine because I don't need those in mind. But if you don't turn on the doorbell, when somebody rings the doorbell, it won't ring. So chime tones, this is basically where you would set your tone and how loud you want it to ring. So your ring tones, you could set to be whatever you want. Once you're done, you hit save changes, and that's what would happen when somebody rings your doorbell. Uh, motion alert's the same thing. You can set the motion alert to do whatever you want. So if somebody walks by, you can have train whistle. And you would save changes on that. If you get a software update, give it time to update. Once you get back out in here, you've got your general settings page. Basically, it's the device name, the location of it. Status light on or off. If you turn that on, basically the light on the front of the bell will be on all the time. So if this is in a hallway or something like that, basically you've got a blue light on all the time. If you turn the device off, give it a few seconds, the light goes off the device. Um, that just keeps a little bit more inconspicuous as a big blue light sticking out in the middle of your room. And that's all there is to the settings on the uh, Ring Chime. I'll install Ring Chime Pro next. I'll show you how to set it up. And then I'll just do a comparison video of the two.